This video is brought to you by GuitarPronto.com. In this video we're going to have a look at the simple steps that you can take to make learning how to play guitar chords easier. Learning chords can be tough if you're a beginner. Luckily there are some simple steps that you can take to make the whole process that much easier. The basic major and minor chords that you should be learning can be split up into three and sometimes even two simple steps and that's what we're going to have a look at today. We're going to use the example of the A major and the E major chord. The first chord we're going to have a look at is the A major chord. This chord can be split up into three simple steps and how we're going to do that is we're going to place a finger on at each step. As you can see you need to place three fingers at, at three different positions to get the three notes to play the chord. For the first step you need to place your ring finger on the second fret of the second string. Step two you need to place your middle finger on the second fret of the third string. And then for the third step you need to place your index finger on the second fret of the fourth string. So once you've done this to get a nice sound we need to strum from the 5th string down leaving out the 6th string. If you strum the 6th string you're not going to get, it's not going to sound as good. So uh, strum from the 5th string down and that's going to sound like this. The next chord we're going to have a look at is the E major chord. If you look at the picture you'll be able to see that the structure for this chord is different than for the A major. Uh, once again we've got 3 notes that we need to place down so therefore we're going to have the 3 steps again. Uh, so remember we're placing one finger at a time and you want to practice really speeding this process up so and also getting a very nice clean sound when you first strum it. This time we're going to strum all six strings so you get a nice full sound and uh, you won't have to worry about leaving out the sixth string or anything like that. Okay so let's get into the steps. So step one, take your ring finger and place it on the second fret of the fourth string. Step two, take your middle finger and place it on the 2nd fret of the 5th string and for the 3rd step take your index finger and place it on the 1st fret of the 3rd string. Okay, So once you've done that, as I said before, we need to strum all 6 strings this time. We're going to get a nice full sound and that's going to sound like this. In lesson 2 we're going to have a look at the C major and the G major chord and the steps that you need to take to form them. In total there are seven basic major chords and seven basic minor chords. Of these you need to learn five of the major and three of the minor chords. Remember when you form your chords you want to have good chord structure, you want to have use good technique so you need to have correct fingering and when you play the chord you want to get a nice clean sound after you've formed it. Make sure that you practice forming different chords, you want to switch between different chords which is good when you start doing chord progressions which is the sort of stuff you're going to come across when you start playing songs. So thank you for watching my video and for more help make sure you visit www.guitarpronto.com